public art can really change the space and it changes the way people feel, it changes the way the space feels. And like, it really, I just think it, like, it's really for everyone. When we were thinking about the individuals, we wanted to see the progress of of West Hartford, from Bristow, who was an enslaved individual in West Hartford, and then as you move towards, you'll see the inspiration of Dr. King, Dr. Bernard Lafayette, who is the leader in the nonviolence movement, other movement leaders, anywhere from maybe an Ella Baker, people who are really doing the work to ensure our, our justice, our freedom, our voting rights are kept um, sacred, and then you'll move forward and you'll see the progress that's happened in West Hartford, from a Tammy Exum to a Judy Casterson to a Gertrude Blanks, who was the first um, black woman who graduated from Hall High School. I thought how inspirational to see these strong black women who have been first in our town on, on multiple levels. It was like a whole group process. So like it's kind of started with a sketch I did and then they had some different meetings about what it, different people's input. And then I tried to take everything and kind of simplify it down and get all the little pieces that people wanted to be in there. So this mural in West Hartford is one of 39 that are going up across the state. And each of the communities that is having one of these murals, we do community conversations and surveys out to uh, each community the murals in to get their feedback. And we're really proud that Corey Payne is a hometown artist, uh, graduated from Connards. And growing up and seeing this place, like it's just cool to be able to come back and now really give something to the community. Especially where it's like an area in West Hartford where a lot of people come and hang out and walk through every day. So I'm honored to be able to paint it. <laughs> I like to have a base sketch, but then like once I'm up there on the wall, like I feel like things just happen and like it starts to kind of like transform and create itself. And there might, maybe there's people that will walk by this mural that never thought anything of art or like never would go to a museum and they now have a piece that's right in front of them. It's a great thing to be able to send a message and say what you want to say and say what you feel inside but also like do something bigger than yourself. When they see things then they look at it in their own way and they probably will start noticing things that I never even intended or maybe they'll have their own stories or their own like things that re it reminds them of. The rainbows to the flowers to the birds that are in it, having that, that environmental piece that speak more than that. They speak about freedom, they speak about perseverance. They it's going to bring people together and it's, it's going to really just uplift West Hartford. Putting art back into our community, um, showcasing our, our black leaders, um, giving, paying homage to Dr. King. Um, in a way that is inspirational, something that our kids can look at, something that our community can look at and feel proud of. It's just a really important statement that you care about your community, you want to beautify it, and you're sending messages of hope. There's a lot of history within West Hartford. There's a lot to be proud of, and I hope that, you know, our children of color walk past this, this mural and see that they, they see themselves in this town. This is the community painting day of uh, the start of one of the murals in Connecticut uh, representing uh, the work and, and the message of Martin Luther King of peace and justice. And we have some students here that were helping to paint this awesome incredible mural. Today we're painting like the background color for this magnificent mural. It's for a cause that I 100% support. And the students love finding ways to connect their own personal passions to the community and to what matters to them. And these students are here because they're trying to find ways to make their art uh, change the world. They may be middle school, high schoolers now. They're going to be a part of painting history. I think it made me feel, you know, really good about myself because, like, I contributed to this. When they're a part of it, they feel like it means something. It's deeper for them. You know, when you're, if it's just a mural that popped up and they're like, oh, that's a pretty mural. Even with people coming and painting, they just get a, a feeling of being a part of this project and the, the, going back to inclusivity again, it's just, that's all it's about, just community building. It gives them some creative problem solving skills, some collaboration. Um, some deep thinking skills and they get to judge what's aesthetic and what they like and what they don't like and that's really important for the jobs that are still forming today. I hope that when people do walk by they get to see sort of the artistic abilities that were on the wall but also bring awareness to the injustices that are today. We're still one of the most segregated states in the entire country. I have three grandsons um, African-American boys that are growing up in this in this time and obviously with the way things are happening I do have a concern about that. Having black boys here in West Hartford it feels good that they 
can see themselves, they, that they can see other black women, like their mom, like their grandma, like their cousins, you know, being celebrated in their town, so it feels good. Art is something that connects everyone, every individual of different race, ethnicity. So I think that this is a wonderful opportunity to teach our young people. When I grew up doing the, doing the Jim Crow, there were very, very limited opportunities for people of color. So I think the main success is that there are opportunities, but we have to be out there, we have to be involved, and we have to look out for the generations that are coming after us. It's really white people's responsibility to fight racism, and we hope that this sparks more of those conversations. I hope that they see the progress, not only for um, the African-American experience, but also of the town. It allows art to be more public for all and inclusive, and it always comes back to inclusivity. The hope is that, you know, we kind of have you um, recognize that there are issues that need addressing. I think the fact that the town is is showing this commitment and investment in um, celebrating the life of MLK is a, is a fantastic thing. It's cool because it's on the library too, so like maybe people can just go right inside and <laughs> start learning. I'm really excited for people to just enjoy the beauty of the mural. By doing uh, very significant public artwork of civil rights leaders, both local and national, we can help drive the dialogue to help continue diversification and equity and equality throughout Connecticut. And we're so thrilled to partner with Rise Up Connecticut and again, grateful to Sustainable CT for their support. Yeah.